Welcome back to the channel. As always, Kevin here bringing you another video. Today we got some Toyota Super news. Now, the new generation Super Toyota is calling the A90. It's turned out to be a pretty impressive car. This thing is pretty cool, although so many are still calling it a BMW. I mean, yeah, it's basically a BMW Z4. I get it. Same BMW motor, same chassis, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but the point is it's still a really good performing car. It still looks really cool. And now it looks like Toyota's already looking into the next generation. So, although this new Super just came out for 2020, there is a new model coming out for 2021. Now, what does that mean? That means it is getting more power. The same 3 liter in the BMW Z4 puts out 382 horsepower. That is a far cry from the 335 that's in the Toyota Supra. So Toyota started to wonder why not put the same amount of horsepower in the Supra. And what Toyota said, and I quote, more power because why not? And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to put 382 horsepower into the new Supra for 2021 which will also increase the torque to 368 pound-feet. Now the 2020 Supra as it sits now to 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. The 2021 Supra with the horsepower and torque bump is said to run it in about 3.9. Now that bump in power is coming from a six-port exhaust manifold and new piston design. The new pistons are also going to drop the compression from 11 to 1 down to 10.2 to 1 which is a lot more boost friendly, if you don't know. Now, because of the lower compression and added horsepower and torque, they're saying it has a much more broad power band starting at 1800 RPM through 5000 RPM. Obviously, it's going to carry farther than that, but they said that the dramatic torque increase in drivability in that range is going to be extremely noticeable. Now, the three liter Supra, as it sits now from the showroom floor, does uh, again 4.1. The GR model does 3.9. So with Super now claiming that the next generation, A91 model, will do it in 3.9, which makes me curious if the GR model of next year is going to be even faster than that. We're just going to have to wait and see. That makes me pretty curious. Um, the chassis is also getting upgraded. According to the article, it says there is going to get a lightweight aluminum braces from the strut towers to the radiator, adding rigidity, new front and rear bump stops, and new damper tuning. It looks like that's not the only thing. At first, I thought this was simply going to be a horsepower bump for next year, but the more I'm reading this article, the more it looks like Toyota's really going over the whole car. It looks like they're also retuning the electric power steering, adaptive suspension settings, stability control, active differential, and improving the stability through sudden directional changes. That's a direct quote from the article. Uh, I thought the last generation, or should I say current generation, I keep saying last generation for some reason, the current generation Super, I think, is an amazing car. Nobody that I've talked to, any article I've read, journalist, no one's had a complaint about the Supra. They all said it handles amazing. But apparently Supra thinks that they can do more with it. So the whole car is getting a workover. So that'll be pretty interesting to watch. Now, that's not, again, not the only changes. I mean, I don't understand. Supra is just, they're just taking the Supra out to a whole new level here. Uh, this next change, though, it has me a little concerned. I don't know how this is going to go over. They're adding to the lineup. This is not a replacement for the 3 liter, but there is a new engine going in, which is going to be an addition to the 3 liter, and it's going to be a 2 liter turbo that BMW uses. Uh, it's their B48 engine. Produces 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Now, that's also going to go through the same 8-speed automatic, and claim zero to 60 will run in five seconds flat. Um, yeah, again, I don't know about this because this is kind of like buying the 
four-cylinder turbo Camaro or the EcoBoost Mustang, it's like you want it because it's a Supra, but you can't afford the real Supra. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I guarantee you people are going to buy this because it's going to be significantly cheaper and they want a new Supra, but it's like, what's the point? I mean, because it is turboed, obviously it's going to be able to be tuned to a much higher horsepower range than 255, but what, 295 pound feet of torque, five seconds flat. With some tuning and stuff, yeah, I can see producing a lot of, you know, a decent amount of power. It's not going to hang with the three liter, but they say with the smaller engine, it is able to maintain a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Now that's really good. So it's going to handle, I think, better only due to the lighter weight. They say it weighs 200 pounds less than the three liter model. So that helps. Uh, I think this may be, maybe they're aiming for a better track car. Maybe something that handles better, the lighter weight and things like that. Possibly, I'm just guessing. Again, no manuals being offered. It might have been uh, talked about or something, but as of right now, they still say no manual. The brakes are slightly smaller due to this lighter weight. They don't need as big of brakes. The three liter gets 13.7 inch brake rotors up front and the two liter is gonna get 13 inch. Now we don't have official pricing yet, but as of right now, it's being guessed and speculated that pricing for the two liter could start around $40,000. Now we all know that the three liter Supra as of right now is in the mid $50,000 range. So even so $40,000 for a 255 horsepower, 295 pound foot of torque Supra, I think is a little bit overpriced. But we're gonna have to just wait and see. I don't, I'm not really wowed by this in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the three liter though does sound really nice since it's getting a bump in horsepower to 382. That's a good deal. I'm liking the sounds of that. But this two liter, I'm just, uh, I'm not feeling it. It's like I said, it's buying, it's like buying the six cylinder Mustang or the EcoBoost Mustang rather than the Coyote because that's all you can afford at the time. Um, but I'm sure we're going to see a lot of them out there and probably you may hear that it handles a little better due to the lighter weight and things like that, but that's only going to be my guess. That's all I got on the Super right now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time.